Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's the 26th of October 2022. Wow, yesterday was a powerful day and we're still under that energy. Uh, the eclipse energy for the next two weeks until we reach the um, full moon in Taurus on the 8th of November. Um, so we've got very intense energy. We're still under the new moon energy after yesterday. And this morning I was sitting with Metatron saying, okay, what do you want to bring through? What do you want me to talk about today? And he said, clarity. He said, the work is being done. People are being shown clarity. So confirmation of what you have been trying to um, create, because it's a really great time for creating stuff. Um, what you were trying to change over the far last few months. Um, clarity is coming in to help you to take action. So it's time to take action on what you wanted to change, what you want to create, what you want to bring in. So a great time to review your vision board to see what's manifested and what still needs to come in. If you haven't done one, do one now. There's it's never a right or wrong time. So I'm going to redo mine today. Um, so it's about clarity. Clarity is coming in. So really listening into your inner wisdom and guidance and your inner knowing. Metatron saying the inner knowing is very, very important. So guide, be guided by your thoughts, by your feelings. Make sure your thoughts are as positive as you can because we're manifesting really quickly. So I'm going to pull some cards um, with regard to to this and i'm going to pull from the gateway oracle, oracle deck by denise lynn and i love these cards at the moment the sacred geometry you know i love sacred geometry anyway with my coasters but um i really love this deck by emily uh kizard i think that's how you pronounce her name um so we're going to pull a card from there as well so let's see what metatron's got to say through the cards today some supportive message metatron please Actually, I feel like I want to spray his energy again before I pull. Oh, he's also saying, remember, if you're feeling a bit wobbly, to bring through the orange column of light to clear away any shock or trauma. Um, and you can take that back down your family line as well, your ancestral line. He's just asking me to add that. So uh, <coughs> I've gone straight down my throat um so he's clearing that for me thank you metatron so let's see what comes through in the cards metatron what message have you got for us today on the 26th of october 22 very powerful and thank you to all of you that have supported me with the offer for the eclipse readings this uh, next two weeks i still have spaces left so if you want some insight for how the eclipse will work with you personally they're 30 minute sessions for 45 pounds which is quite heavily discounted on my normal rate so um yeah you can book on by messaging me private messaging me or you can email me on michellewestinfo at gmail.com all right let's concentrate now on these cards I'm hearing two, so we have two from this deck. All oh, right, there we go. And I'm going to pull another one from this deck before I tell you. It's interesting, great. I'm loving that. Okay, what card have we got from this deck? I'm going to try on that one. Okay, beautiful. I like that. I've got three that's flipped over here. I just want to take one more metatron this deck let's have two from each another card from this deck just one more please metatron it's quite hard to shuffle these ones they're quite big i like i do like them though they're really lovely i love the card that we've just got as well have faith okay just want to get oh, i don't want to upset the apple card there right okay i was going to get a crystal but it's on my um metatron charger over behind me charging up the coasters which are going to be being put up in the shop tomorrow so the first card we've got is healing the past very very important right now letting go of the past and it's a great time to do it 
well, if you're in the UK, <laughs> oh, um, where you've got autumn. So whenever you've got autumn, it's just like letting go of the leaves, get out in nature. But I step into my future with strength and clarity. So clarity is coming in about those steps and action points that you need to take to move forward. Remember I said in my um, eclipse video, it was about soul contracts coming to an end as well. You're being done with situations. You're being done with people and moving away from that so you're letting go letting go of that that no longer serves you which will calms the nervous system helps you to relax um stepping out of fear i also want to talk about um the collective energy um briefly i'm being asked to, to bring that through and it's making sure and i did this with my group last night on the soul to soul membership um we talked and did some work on the collective energy because there were some people in the group that were feeling quite fearful and anxious and weren't really quite sure how or why that was happening. And I said, have you cleared your collective energy? Oh, they said, we are all one. We are all picking up on the collective energy. It doesn't matter what part of the world you're in. You're still going to be picking up on what's coming going on in the UK or in America or in Australia or Thailand or Ukraine or Russia, you know, wherever. And also the people around you that you're mixing with, people you know, but also the people you're you're around when you go into the shops, into the doctors, into the dent, wherever you're going. So you're picking up that energy and because you are an empath and you are a star seed and a light worker, you will pick up the energy of everything and everyone. Always protect yourself before you go out. Put yourself in a blue bubble of light. Ask Michael to put his shield around you. Whatever method you use to do that, the armour of God. And when you come back, making sure you cleanse and clear yourself uh ask michael again to cut any cords any attachments that you may have picked up or lower vibrations while you've been out and just watch how your energy changes being responsible for your own energetic frequency um is really important but really clearing from the collective turn the news off if you're very sensitive don't watch it every day i don't um don't read newspapers if they're triggering you you know watch be mindful of what you're watching on youtube as well so this is the card of clarity today it's about healing the past letting go of the old being mindful of what you can, you have control over and what you don't and letting go of what you don't and just trying to flow as much as you can. And obviously the more cluttering and decluttering and clearing you did prior to the eclipse, the smoother this process is going to be. And then we've got the card when we step into healing the past. And you can see on the card here, you know, we've got these dark, these roots anchoring in. We've got this new shoot. We've got this new light because we're letting go of the old, stepping into the new. And then we've got the card of flying free. So when we let go of the old, we forgive. We set ourselves free. When we are focused on what we want and, and take action, because there's no point being focused if you don't take any action steps towards it, we start to fly free. We can see the bigger picture and that's what the eclipse is bringing us. It's bringing us that clarity for us to be able to say, to say oh, okay, that's what I need to be doing. That's what I need to be focusing on. That's what I need to be implementing in my life. That's what I want more of. That's... I don't want that, so I'm getting rid of that. You're letting go, you're healing the past and you're stepping into this new energy. And it says, unfurl my wings and fly. I unfurl my wings and fly. Love that. And then we've got two cards from the sacred geometry. Uh, this beautiful one, look at that. Oh, that is so beautiful. Balance, that's saying to me, balance. What does it say? Oh, harmony. Create harmony, harmonious surroundings. And then we've got this one, which is belief. So let's look. I'm going to look in the book at these two. So let's look at harmony, number 40, card 40. 
Right. So this is a frequency. This has a frequency of 432. So if you're into your frequency music, um, it's 432. So when Harmony Card appears, you need to consider which areas of your life is in disaccord. So what do we need to bring more peace to, more harmony? Harmony can be felt within ourselves, within our family and home life and within our business environment. When this harmony is present, our inner sanct sanctum goes, un up, goes into upheaval. We may feel out of balance, angry, frustrated or unhappy. Have an ability to concentrate, an inability, sorry, to concentrate and feel like our outer world is falling apart. Wow. Brito, so to bring back yourself into a harmonious state, sit outside in stillness and allow the beauty of your surroundings, the chirping birds, the patter of rain or the rays of the sun to soak into your physical essence right down to your cellular memory. You can play tunes of 432 to help you. Envisage um, the torido, I don't know what that means relating to the Taurus body that sits around you, everything in and everything in nature, flow in a balanced, dynamic state and breathe. Wow. I like that. I am in harmony with all aspects of my life. That's a beautiful frequency, 432. Look that up today. So that's that card. And then we've got the card of Believe. That diamond shape in the middle is connected to the heart. Right, card 33, Believe. Right, the heart, so there we go. Correct, Michelle. The heart is said to generate the largest electromagnetic field of the whole body. Just as the brain is in intelligence unto itself, so is the heart. It can play a role in our mental, emotional, physical states. The heart is a powerhouse unto ourself. The more we believe in what we know to be right, the stronger this external force becomes and the easier it is to stay on our path. Have you lost your faith or strayed from your path? The octahedron, which is what this platonic solid is, is one of the five platonics. Its element is air and it pertains to the heart. The isohedron is one of the 13 Archimedean solids and is only one of two platonics dual pairs. Within this geometry, they can shape, shift as the isohedron becomes the dodecahedron and vice versa. This shape ultimately helps create and define our perceptions and our life force. Belief is about having confidence in yourself and knowing your truth. Having faith in the existence of something out there will work for you and help guide you. Feel your heart and trust your gut. Clarity again, guys. Clarity coming in. You have a knowing of what is right. Take some time to centre yourself. Go within your heart and into your belief system. Ask yourself, does this feel right? Am I on track? What is it I need to change to make it right? Beautifully aligned to the eclipse energy. We are all connected to the all, from the great cosmos to inner core of the earth. Our perceptions and intentions are strong. What we put out there is what we receive back. Believe in yourself and trust in your knowing. So this is very connected into what I was talking about right at the beginning here. Um, going into your heart, connecting to your heart, handing over any problems, questions to your heart and come out of the head into the heart to get the answers. Clarity is coming in under this eclipse. We're being asked to take action and to move forward. Couldn't have pulled two better cards. And these as well, heal your past and start stepping in and flying high, bringing in with the clarity that's coming in. And trust, trust yourself, trust your gut instinct, trust your inner guidance. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there because I've gone well over the 10 minutes today. Lots of love, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all tomorrow, bye for now.